I'm Joe Agostinelli, Social Media Manager at Greenway Health, and this is Putting Possibility into Practice, the podcast from Greenway Health. And this episode, I am joined by Christy Trailer, a Client Revenue Manager with Greenway Revenue Services out of our Carrollton, Georgia office. I thank Christy for taking time out of her day to join me as we talk about Greenway Revenue Services, the services that are offered to practices through her team, and we'll also talk about how those services were recently employed at Pediatrics Associates uh, to assist that practice. And Christy, uh, for those who may have not heard past podcasts, uh, when we talk about Greenway Revenue Services, what are we talking about? Okay, yeah, that's a great question. Um, So with Revenue Services, what we do here is we really work in partnership with the practice and everything we do is completely transparent, just as if we're extension of your office. So we work from claim submission, and we work clearinghouse rejections. We have reworks and rebills, so any denial management that comes in, that's our responsibility. Uh, We follow up on all claims, all the way through the life cycle of the claim until it gets to patient responsibility with statements and even collection letters if necessary. Even a call center is involved, so we're open till 8 p.m. Eastern time to take any calls from those patients. So we really kind of take care of the whole entire process in partnership with our customers. Great. And the uh, practice and case study we're discussing on today's episode is with Pediatrics Associates. Um, Pediatrics Associates needed help after shifting from paper to electronic claims, and, and your team certainly understood what to look for Uh, in this large pediatric practice. So when the practice began uh, with Greenway Revenue Services, uh, they were at a very tough financial state. How were you able to uncover what the problem was? Yes, right off the bat, the office manager and I, we worked together and we put our teams in communication. So we immediately noticed clearinghouse rejections and delinquent claims were our, our high priority there. Payments were a little bit behind, so that also meant denials weren't posted. So we really had to wrap our arms around that whole AR picture and really find ways to make those improvements. So we started posting denials. We started tagging claims for what was wrong with them and follow-up dates as well. So we added all of that into our process and certainly patient statement and the whole patient AR portion too. So that was really how we kind of tackled that. And certainly resubmitting claims for reimbursement is a, is a team effort. They say communication is key, and how did you come up with a plan of attack? Oh, absolutely. Communication is so important. And we identified denial trends immediately, so we found areas really to focus on for improvement. So with those denial trends, the first thing that popped out was eligibility denials and bundling denials for even for non-covered services. So we talked about how we're going to work together with the practice to really help with front office workflows, um, even tracking visits without charges, just to make sure that anything um, that needs to be billed out is, so we're not letting money fall through the cracks. In certain denial trends, we kind of built charge rules in the EHR system itself to really be proactive and catch those denials on the front end. And then um, when did you know you were on the right track and and what did you say was successful? Oh, immediately we knew we were on the right track. We started seeing um, denials and eligibility rejections decreasing. Patient statements were on track so that that whole cycle, the days in AR started to get better. And we worked with the practice really to make those meaningful improvements. Um, It really improved all of their key metrics. It included improved their um, days in AR and improved their aging for insurance and patient and it improved their net payments, which is what we all care about, right? We want to make sure that everybody is getting paid for the services they provide. And pediatrics uh, associates went from um, not knowing too much about an EHR to getting paid in under 30 days. So what does that mean to you? Absolutely. That means that they are a wonderful partner with us, with GRS, and we have their days in AR today down to 14, which means for a typical claim that goes out, it is paid in full by the insurance and by the patient within 14 days. 
That's amazing. Um, so we identify new trends very quickly. And because we built up that trust and that partnership, we're able to very easily communicate back to the practice. Here's some ideas on how to improve this process. They're very receptive. We have that trust. And you know that communication is key because they are a true partner. And to wrap up this episode, we talk about the transition from paper to electronics in your experience. Is this something that happens quite a bit as practices go from paper to electronic and get used to this digital age? Absolutely. It's so common, and that's what we're here for. We're here to walk them through every step of that process, just as if we were in the office with them. And we want to talk about best practice workflows, identifying trends, being proactive with doing all the denial trend analysis and making sure that statements go out on time. Really the whole entire life cycle of the claim, we talk about that with our partners and we help them through the whole process. Just because, you know, we don't want anything to be scary to them. We want to make sure that we are there to help them. And if you would like more information on Greenway Revenue Services, I invite you to visit our website at www.greenwayhealth.com. You can learn all about how Christy and her team can help your practice with Greenway Revenue Services. And I thank Christy Trailer, the Client Revenue Manager with Greenway Revenue Services, for joining me for this episode of Putting Possibility into Practice. Don't forget that you can subscribe to our podcast from either SoundCloud Google Play Music Store, or iTunes, and get notifications as to when new episodes are uploaded to the podcast to stay on the top of the latest trends and industry news through Greenway Health's Putting Possibility into Practice. I'm Joe Agustinelli, Social Media Manager at Greenway Health, and this has been Putting Possibility into Practice, the podcast from Greenway Health.